Here we are at the Washington State University's ICC accredited testing facility, and we're gonna bend some tabs. So Wazoo has this amazing new facility. It's a brand new building. It's called the PACAR Environmental Technology Building. The laboratory is state of the art. It's brand new. We were the first people to test there. They've got these huge concrete walls. They're called strong walls. There's a big two foot thick concrete floor and it has all these anchor points in it that are capable of withstanding 75 kips of load per anchor point. So they could take those big hydraulic cylinders and bolt them to the strong wall. So they had these huge thick steel plates that bolted on and we had these big wrenches and nuts and everything to hold it all together. And so we'd pick up the big logs with the big crane, move them across the floor, set them down, chain them down, and hold them in place while we apply all this load to them. It was crucial that we tested our tabs as close to mimicking a real life situation as possible. So we contacted our local arborist. He just happened to be taking down some perfect trees to do our testing in. We harvested those trees, threw them on the trailer, took them to Wazoo to their brand new testing laboratory. This is the same facility where they might test just a regular lag bolt and a piece of timber. So it really is the ideal place to test a fastener like ours in a piece of wood. The reason why we used freshly sawn trees is because the U.S. Forestry Service has published all the scientific data about the mechanical properties of living trees. So we needed trees that were as close to living as they could be. And we tested them to make sure that the specific gravity of the logs that we tested are consistent with the data already published by the U.S. Forestry Service. Well, the real life situations in which a tab is going to be loaded when it's in a tree house can basically be broken down into four different tests. The parallel test shows how much the tab can take in a gravity situation, the weight of the treehouse. The perpendicular test uh, shows the side load of a tab where if there's a wind pushing on the side of the treehouse or if there's an earthquake. The withdrawal test tells you how much force it takes to pull the tab straight out of the tree. Cyclical test is um, more of an earthquake standard, mostly for California. So it's if there's a long earthquake and it's pushing side to side, how does it perform in that continuing action of an earthquake? The arborists that we work with tell us that a 30 thousandths of an inch of permanent deflection in the tree, meaning how much it has crushed, is about the limit of which a tree can withstand it without hurting the living cambium layer of the tree. We tested the tabs until they reached the safe working load that we were anticipating was healthy for the tree. Then we kept going further and further until we actually had a failure where the tab popped out of the tree completely. And what that tells us is our factor of safety. It tells us that we have a working load, but then if there's some kind of, you know, wind event or something unusual, there's a capacity to exceed that without the treehouse falling out of the tree. This is an actual autopsy of one of the tests that we did. So when we tested an HL with a backup cable and to the point of failure, this is the cable backup point. And you can see how the bolt bent and it crushed the wood and it snapped the cable. So this is far beyond the loads that we're placing on it when it's just a tree house and a tree. Well, this is another example of the ultimate failure where the tab used to be sitting in the tree straight, but when it got crushed out, it smashed all this wood down below it that was holding it, and the grain chewed up into the wood in the middle of the tree here. It took about 30,000 pounds of force to smash this tab out of the tree. Now, this is an ICC accredited facility, which means that we can take their test report and show that we're in complete code compliance with all of our structures. I was completely blown away by the results because they far exceeded all of our expectations. They exceeded the expectations of, of Washington State and they show once and for all that it is actually scientifically proven that our tabs far exceed the capabilities that we've been applying them. And thank you so much to WSU. Huge shout out to you guys. It was so much fun. You were so helpful. And the results that we got are just going to help everyone in the Treehouse community for ever. <laughs>